Now we're going to factor the difference of squares. So this is page one. We'll just run over what these things look like, and then we'll do these examples. Okay. So one all the way through nine. So you might be interested in this one, for example, x squared plus four. What does that give? Okay. So just to run over, if we have the same number, if we have multiplying two binomials, we have the same number here, you know, on the inside and outside, but a different sign in the middle, like a plus sign and a minus sign, um, then we're going to have a difference of squares, okay? So if I just run over this, x times x gives us what? x squared, x times negative 3, minus 3x, three right? 3 times x, plus 3x, isn't it? And 3 times negative 3, what's that? Negative 9. Now, what happens when we add like terms? We get our x squared, and negative 3x and 3x make 0, right? So x squared minus 9. Okay, now press pause on the video and multiply this one out and see what you get. Now I'll do it. 4x times 4x, 16x squared. That times that, minus 20x. Uh, 5 times 4x plus 20x. 5 times negative 5 minus 25, and now adding like terms, we have 16x squared. These make 0, 16x squared minus 25, right? And again, that's a difference of squares, because remember, 16x squared is actually 4x times 4x. It's 4x all squared, oh, all squared, sorry. And 25 is 5 squared, so that's a difference of squared numbers. Now, press pause in the video and multiply a plus b times a minus b and see what happens. We get a times a, a squared, a times negative b minus ab. Uh, b times a is plus ab. b times negative b is minus b squared. Then we add like terms. And we get a squared. Now, negative ab plus ab makes zero a squared minus b squared is the answer, right? So, from this we know that a squared minus b squared equals what? Well, it's a plus b times a minus b, isn't it? Which, of course, by the way, that's the same as, you know, a minus b times a plus b. There's no reason why it, it the plus should be first, but so it's the same thing. But in any case, a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. So what is s squared minus t squared? Write down the answer. Well, it's a, we recognize it as a difference of squares. How, by the way, how do we know a squared minus b squared was a plus b times a minus b? We know that from practice. We know that from experience because we just multiplied it and we got the answer. Okay, So it's just something we recognize. That if we have a difference of squares, the answer is indeed, you know, the two numbers added times the two numbers subtracted. And that's the answer. It's just something that we recognize in the world, okay? It's just a fact. So if we have x squared minus 16, we might say, oh, that looks like a difference of squared numbers. And in fact, it is. It's, it's x squared minus 16 is what squared? What squared gives 16? 4 times 4 is 16, isn't it? 4 times 4 to 16. So this is x squared minus 4 squared. So it's a difference of squares. And just from practice, we know that the difference of squares can be written. The two numbers added times the two numbers subtracted. Like a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. x squared minus 4 squared is simply x plus 4 times x minus 4. Is that clear? So y squared minus 25 is... So now if we had y squared minus 25, can we write that in the form of a difference of squared numbers? Well, 25 is 5 squared, isn't it? So could that be written y squared minus 5 squared, right? Or y plus 5 times y minus 5, right? How about x squared minus 1 squared? Can you do that one? What is 1 squared, by the way, just as a hint? 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is 1, right? So 1 can be written 1 squared, can't it? 
So can this be written x squared minus 1 squared, right? So it's a difference of squared numbers. So the answer would be x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now multiply that out and check it. x times x, x squared, x times negative 1 minus 1x, 1 times x plus 1x, 1 times negative 1 minus 1. And when you're doing your homework, you need to check all of these. I'm not checking them on the video just to save time. x squared, add like terms, they make 0, x squared minus 1. Okay, So make sure you multiply all of these out and check them. 9x squared minus 4, especially on your homework. 9x squared minus 4, what's that? Well, 9x squared is in fact, 9 is 3 times 3. Isn't this 3x times, wouldn't 3x times 3x give us 9x squared? 3 times 3 is 9, x times x is x squared. So this is in fact 3x all squared. Now 4, 4 is a squared number, isn't it? What squared gives 4? 2 squared, isn't it? So 9x squared minus 4 can be written as 3x all squared minus 2 all squared. Isn't that a difference of squared numbers? A difference of squares? So can't that be written 3x plus 2? times 3x minus 2, right? And multiply this out and check it. Now, for example, 7. Let's leave that one there, I guess. 36x squared minus 1. Is that a difference of squares? Well, 36x squared, 36 is 6 times 6, isn't it? So isn't that 6, wouldn't 6x times 6x? Give 36x squared. That would be 6 times 6 is 36. x times x is x squared. So can't that be written 6x all squared? Right? And 1 can be written what? What squared gives 1? Well, 1 squared, right? So again, we have a difference of squared numbers. So that can be written 6x plus 1 times 6x minus 1. And that is the answer. If I check it, you know, I get, you know, 36x squared. Uh, minus 6x plus 6x minus 1. And negative 6x and 6x make 0, so the, that gives me 36x squared minus 1, right? So how about this one? 49s squared minus 9t squared. What times what? What times itself would give me 49s squared? Well, that's, you know, 7 times 7, isn't it? And s squared is s times s. So if I went 7s times 7s, that would give me 49s squared, right? So isn't that 7s all squared? How about 9t squared? How can that be written? 9t squared. Well, 9 is 3 times 3t is t times t. So this is 3t times 3t, isn't it? So we have 7s squared minus 3t all squared. So it's a difference of squares. So this difference of squares can be written, how could we write that? 7s plus 3t times 7s minus 3t. Does that make sense? And now we can multiply that and check it. Okay, this is an interesting one. x squared plus 4. Go ahead and factor x squared plus 4. x squared plus 4. Most people would think, okay, that looks like a difference of squares. That's x plus 2 times x minus 2. Well, that's why we always check our answer. Because x times x is x squared. That times that is minus 2x. Two, 2 times x is plus 2x. And 2 times negative 2 is what? Negative 4. Because now when I add like terms, I have x squared. And these make 0. x squared minus 4. Not x squared plus 4. Okay, so this isn't right. And some other people might guess, well, it's x plus 2 times x plus 2. But if you check that one, you get x squared uh, plus 2x plus 2x plus positive 4. So that's x squared plus 4x plus 4. Not x squared plus 4. Okay, so the answer to this is that's not the answer. That's not the answer. 
It's not x minus 2 times x minus 2. The answer to this is it can't be factored. This is not a difference of squares. It's an addition of squared numbers, which we don't have a formula for that. If you want to um, really see see this better, that's x squared plus 0x plus 4, isn't it? And now if you apply the short method, because 0x is, this, this can be written x squared plus 0x plus 4, right? Same thing. Now if we apply the short method, uh, 4 is 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. Now what two numbers multiply to give positive 4 and add to give 0? So we're looking at the positive 4 and the 0. What two numbers multiply to 4 and add to 0? Are there any numbers that do that? Oops, let me do that. Is that even possible? Not possible, is it? I mean, you could try and work with this. You think, okay, positive 2 and negative 2, they add to 0, but they multiply to negative 4, so they don't work. So the answer to this is can't be factored. Can't be factored, right? Or cannot be factored. Sometimes it's it's called prime because if you can't factorize something, it's prime. Like the number thirteen is can simply be written, you know, thirteen times one, and so thirteen is called prime.